In our earlier videos, we have already seen the working of mass spectrometer and the use of mass spectrum to analyze and deduce an organic compound and isotopes. We have already seen the use of M and M plus 1 peak and how is it used to analyze an organic compound and in this video, we will study what is M, M plus 2, M plus 4 peak and how is it used to deduce the type of element present in an organic compound with examples. Now, M plus 2 P can arise in a mass spectrum due to the presence of an element which has an isotope with a mass difference of 2. Now, there are two such elements which has an isotopes with the difference of 2 mass that are chlorine and bromine. So, when in these atoms, these halogens are present, chlorine and bromine in an organic compound, there are chances that we get in peak of M and M plus 2 both. Now here we can see a simplified mass spectrum of 2 chloropropane that is CH3, CHCl, CH3. This is 2 chloropropane and here we can see that there is n peak of M plus 1 ion and M plus 2 ion also. Now this is because of the presence of chlorine. Now we know that chlorine has two isotopes with chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. So if there are some molecules which have chlorine with the mass number chlorine 37 then we may get a peak of M plus 2 also. Now what is important part here we can see that there is an another peak of 63 and 65 also. Now this is due to one of the fragment of CH3 CHCl ion. Now these two peaks are due to the presence of chlorine in the fragment of 2 chloropropane. Now in both this pair of peaks we can observe that there is a difference of the ratio of the peak height. Now this ratio of the peak height we can observe that is 1 is to 3. The ratio is 1 is to 3 and the reason being is that the chlorine 35 has an abundance of 75% of the total chlorine and chlorine 37 has an abundance of 25% of the total number of chlorine. So we can say that the ratio is 1 is to 3 and because of that the M peak is having the more abundance of 3 and the smaller peak of M plus 2 has a lower abundance so that is in the ratio of 1. So this peak height is at the ratio of 1 is to 3 and this detects that the presence of chlorine in our organic compound. If the peak height difference is 1 is to 3 it is chlorine which is detected in the organic compound. In some of the mass spectrum, we may also observe M plus 2 and M plus 4 peak also along with the M peak and this is because of the presence of two chlorine or two bromine atoms in an organic compound. Although bromine we will study in the later part of this video, but if we get an peak at M plus 4, then there is a presence of second chlorine in the organic compound. Now let's understand that with the help of an example here. This shows a simplified mass spectrum of 1,2-dichloroethane as shown here the structure. Now here as we can see that there are two chlorine atoms present in the ethane compound that is M, M plus 2 and M plus 4 peak are obtained because of this two chlorine. We can see that the M peak is at 98. M plus 2 peak is at 100 and M plus 4 peak is at 102. Now this is because of the presence of various combinations of the two isotopes of chlorine that is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. Now if we add only carbon and hydrogen that ends up with a mass of 28. Now if we count two chlorine atoms and there are two possibilities that both the chlorine are with a mass of 35 that gives a total of 98. Now suppose if along with the 28 mass one of the chlorine is 35 and the other chlorine is 37 which ends up with the mass charge ratio 100 and 
if the third possibility is that both the chlorine present are with the mass of 37 which gives us a mass of 102 now there is one more possibility here with the second that out of the two chlorine there may be a presence of alternative chlorine that is 37 and 35 that is if first time if we are counted this as 35 and the other chlorine as 37 then the second time the first chlorine may be 37 and the other chlorine is 35 so both ends up with the total of 100 now we need know that the 35 per, uh, chlorine has a percentage abundance of 3 is to 1 and because of that here if there are two chlorine atoms that should have an abundance of 3 square here there are two possibilities which has an abundance of 1 and 3 so we can say that there is a possibility of the charge ratio 3 but for the other combination also there is a 3 and the last one combination of 37 and 37 that is both the chlorine is 37 mass then their abundance is 1 is to 1 only which ends up with the ratio 1 now if we combine all this there is a possibility that the 3 square that is possibility of both the chlorine with 35 mass has a ratio of 3 square that is 9 second combination of 35 and 37 or 37 and 35 has a ratio of 3 plus 3 that is 6 and if both the chlorine has a mass of 37 then the ratio is 1 so if we have an m m plus 2 and m plus 4 peak then this ratio of the peak height should be 9 is to 6 is to 1 so in general we can present the presence of two chlorine atoms here that is both the chlorine with the 35 mass as in peak height of 3 square that is 9 with one of the chlorine is 35 and the second chlorine is 37 now here there is an alteration possible so has a chance of 3 and 3 that is 6 3 plus 3 and again 37 chlorine has an abundance of only 1 is to 3 percent that is 25 percent of the total chlorine that gives a ratio of 1 only so this is the combination of 9 is to 6 is to 1 with a peak of m m plus 2 and m plus 4 peak so m peak has an height of 9 m plus 2 peak has an height of 6 and m plus 4 peak will be with the height of 1 now let's see the mass spectrum again for this combination in this mass spectrum there are the three peaks of m m plus 2 and m plus 4 and we can see that there is a difference in the peak height with the ratio of 9 is to 6 is to 1 so in any organic compound where two chlorine atoms are present we will be observing these peaks of m m plus 2 and m plus 4 with this ratio now let's understand the example of bromine with the peak of m and m plus 2 presence now if a bromine is present in an organic compound here is an example of a simplified mass spectrum of bromoethane that is ch3 ch2 br now here we can see that the m peak is observed at 90 sorry 109 and m plus 2 peak is observed at 110 now here we can see that both the peak of m and m plus 2 has a ratio of 1 is to 1 only now as we know that bromine has two isotopes bromine 79 and bromine 81 now both the isotopes are present in the abundance of 50 percent each that is 1 is to 1 ratio for both the bromine now that is the reason that m and m plus 2 ion peaks are observed at the ratio of 1 is to 1 that is both the peak will have the same height now here we can see that there are two more peak with the same height ratio again this is due to one of the fragment of this molecule with both the bromine or as an isotopes bromine 79 and bromine 81 next let's understand what if there are two bromine atoms present in a compound so if two bromine are present again we will get a peak at m 
second peak at m plus 2 and then third peak at m plus 4 also m plus 4 mass to the charge ratio also now if this is present then because of the two chlorine or two bromine atoms but if bromine both the atoms are bromine in an organic compound then a similar such mass spectrum will be observed now here i am not specifying which organic compound but, but we can see that there is one peak m plus ion peak observed at 158 that is the first peak at 158 m plus ion peak m plus 2 ion peak is at 160 that is plus 2 plus 2 more that is 162 with m plus 4 ion peak now there is a difference of 2 every time and this is because of the 2 bromine atoms present in a compound now let's again just like in chlorine understand how there are different combinations of bromine giving us this peak with the height ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 now we can see that the peak of m plus 2 ion is at double the height that is 1 is to 2 and again m plus 4 peak has a height of 1 so this combination let's understand here in a presentation form here bromine to bromine both the bromine has a 79 mass now both the bromine are in the ratio of 1 is to 1 so if both the bromine are same then we get a height ratio of 1 square that is 1 now if 79 and 81 or 81 and 79 is present then also there will be a height ratio of 1 but then now it will be a, a combination of 1 plus 1 that is 2 and the 81 and 81 will again produce a mass peak at m plus 4 with the ratio of height ratio of 1 itself so again we have a combination of 1 is to 2 is to 1 peak height ratio in a mass spectrum so if two bromine are present then we get three peaks at m m plus 2 and m plus 4 with the height ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 and this is how the presence of chlorine and bromine are detected there is the only difference in the peak height ratio for chlorine and bromine. With chlorine, we get the height ratio of 9 is to 6 is to 1 and with bromine, we get an height ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, this is how M, M plus 2 and M plus 4 peak can help us detect the presence of either chlorine or bromine in an organic compound.